To our Foodie Friday, today's National Carrot Cake Day, and what a better way to celebrate it than having our friend Jen Fiore in her kitchen to bake a delicious gluten-free carrot cake. Cliff and I had a lot of fun. Check this out. We're in the kitchen with Chef Jen. It's National Carrot Cake Day. We love when we have chefs on the show because you know what that means. Good things are about to happen. We don't have to <laughs> so go pay for lunch. That's <laughs> what it means. That too, right? Um, Chef Jen, thanks so much for coming back. Thank you. This is a special carrot cake you're about to make yes. because it is gluten free, mm -hmm. and that's what you specialize in. Everything you make gluten free. Yes, and I love I love that because I want everybody to come eat at my table, whether they can eat gluten or not. So right. this carrot cake is near and dear to me. We've already started with the olive oil. This cake has olive oil and the sugar, and we're going to just put a little vanilla. And why this is near and dear to me is because it's something that I like to keep in the the freezer for when my kids come home or when company comes over because honestly it's that good so wow, okay yeah that's an endorsement yeah you're <laughs> when you can take something out of the freezer and impress somebody that's why I'm gonna do it as a as a cupcake for you all okay I like it so walk us through what you just put so here. I just put some vanilla into our sugar and our oil so that's our fat today and I've used an all-purpose uh, gluten-free flour and I do always you know I've been here before and we've talked about my Flour. Right. I know. We've, and of course, I'll always go to mine. But let's go for the easy. People like the easy, and they can get this right at the grocery store. All-purpose flour, cinnamon, baking soda, salt. You know the basics. But a lot of cinnamon. So two, Ooh, okay. two teaspoons of cinnamon. That's a little okay. bit more. And that, you'll see by the the color of the cupcake, that definitely has something to do with it. And the brown sugar. You know. And so we're going to mix this well for a second. It doesn't take that much. Everybody always freaks out. I don't know how to make, no, it's so easy, you guys, really. And if you're going to have a carrot cake, well, you got to have carrots. you got to have your two cups of carrots. Oh, so, okay. And, you know, if you want to put peas and broccoli in it for your kids, I don't know. But the carrots are definitely a must in this one. Just don't tell them. I was going to say, keep that one a secret. So when they say they love it, just say okay. Oh, yeah. I used to do that for my, my child, too. Um, whether, whether they liked it or not. <laughs> she did grow okay. to like it. She did. So we're going to do one egg at a time. And you've seen recipes like that, right? Mix a little bit, add one egg, and then so on and so forth. So that's what we're going to do. And it is two minutes to do it. That's really all it takes. While you're mixing these eggs, yeah. uh, for the people that hadn't seen you on our show before, all your, re all your recipes are gluten-free. Mm -hmm. What's the quick history behind that? Oh, the... In 2003, I found out that I had celiac disease, and then I quickly found out on the heels of it that my children did too. Okay. So that changed everything. Like I, <laughs> I was feeding myself, and then now I'm oh my goodness, my kids. So a lot of my recipes are for families because you know there's going to be a pizza party. There's going to be, I don't know, a family gathering that somebody doesn't have a cake for you, and you don't want your kids not to have a cake. I mean, at least I didn't. So. And it's a painful, it's a painful uh, condition. Yes, there are so many symptoms, and unfortunately, um, I had them all. But unfortunately, all three of my children had them in a different array of symptoms, so it was a little hard for me to figure out. Well, it was hard for the doctors too. So, right. um, they are thriving, fabulous, healthy adults now. So. That's really, really mm -hmm. fabulous. Yeah, and and believe it or not, my son is, and my daughters as well. But my son is a big foodie. And you took it upon yourself to just completely rearrange everybody's diet uh, by creating these gluten-free yes. recipes. Yes. Um, everybody's life was affected by mine because, <laughs> including the teachers as well, because um, I had to, f I formulated these recipes based mm -hmm. on the teachers being able to share them with the kids at the class and parties and, you know. Right. Well, who wants to go to the, sh the our, our house and not share in the cakes? Now, while you were talking here, you were adding some extra things into the mixer yes. here. What were you so adding? I added pecans. I know. It, it's not a necessity. It's an optional. That's our okay. question. Pecan or pecan? Oh. It's a pecan. Pecan. <laughs> is it? What I, it, I is go it? with the cook. <laughs> well, don't go with me. I mean, I'm, I've only been here for 25 years. I don't, I don't speak Southern. I'm still Yeah, well, you're cooking. I'm going with you. Okay. It's okay. You can. I like this, it. This is my, I know, people are like, Jen, why, why do you do these things? I, I'm showing you tips that you could use in your kitchen. I always use gloves when I'm, very, I'm handling everything. And this is what I do. I take the measuring cup and I pinch it off. I know someone's out there, use your spatula. You can use your spatula. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. But this is how I do it. I get a perfect... Measurement each and every time. Mm -hmm. I can control it. I don't have any spillage that's going to burn in the oven. 
So and about how much pecans are in here? Oh, I had a cup of chopped pecans that I threw in a bag okay. and hit with a hammer. I didn't even take my food processor out for that. Mm -hmm. And my, my, I had the three cups of uh, carrots, and I had two cups of that all-purpose flour. Okay. So you can make a wholesome meal, and you can take your frustration out. Absolutely. With pecans. <laughs> okay. All right. It's my as easy my as recommendation one, two, three. is maybe not, but okay. <laughs> then there we go. And so this is what I say. These cupcakes make a perfect thing for the freezer and for guests. But we're going to put the balance of it in a cake, just so you, you know, because we're not going to, we're going to show you all the things that we've done here on your fabulous morning okay. mix. We're, uh, we're getting a little close to our time here. Okay. I know you've got to do that, but uh, we do have the frosting as well that we want to talk about. Okay, our frosting. Which is my favorite part it, of the Me too. Recipe. So this, one, this frosting calls for um, 12 ounces of our cream cheese, and it is a little bit of vanilla and one and three quarter cup of our, um, mm, frost, what is it called, good. powdered sugar. Oh my gosh, that okay. escaped me, powdered sugar. Okay, so would you like to see it? Let's see it. All right, now. I've cooled these down because I came in here, yeah, I took to over your kitchen. Television, we oh, voila. I took over Rocky's their up. kitchen. Would so you? ideally, these are going to go in the oven. How yes. long and what do you set the oven? So this is perfect because these are going to go in our 350 preheated oven for about 30 to 32 minutes. So when you okay. fill them up a little more, of course, give them a little love and care and take a little bit longer. And our cake is the same. I, I, I take a look at it about 33 minutes. Okay. Not, so would you like to... Try the oh, you want me to try it? Oh. Would you like to? Well, if Come you want on. it ruined, then, then absolutely, I'm your guy. Come on. Right. Let's try it. Later. So it's got a real, is it, is it too hard for you to do? Oh, yeah. Oh, there you go. I, can, I can't even draw See? on the lines. Oh, look at that. No. No, you did great. You just Let it go. <laughs> put the frost <laughs> on the cake. Yeah. yeah. Look at me. Look at that. Please circle, don't look at me. Circle. And, and you want to you, I want you this one to have it. a Z. And... <laughs> We're not, we're not picking. We just want that clip. And for you people out there, that's the number two. Okay. That was fantastic. <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. Ah, that's okay. all right. I dropped my spoon. Let me show you this clip. This is what I learned to do the easiest way because I am not a baker. I'm just ah. a lady who likes oh. food. Boom. And boom. Nice. That's why she's the master. Boom. That's why she's a that's chef. That's it. Okay. All right. Well, would, thank you so much, thank Chef you Jane. Guys. We appreciate it. Wait, do we get to try these? You would love oh, to. Okay. Go ahead. Right. The, the ones oh. that are, are are cooked and cooled so that you're not going right. to burn. Oh, well, cool. <laughs> Before I take a bite, Jen, where, where can people get more information on your gluten-free oh, recipes? I have all my recipes up on my website, jenfiori.com. Mm, I need so, under the rug. So what do you think? Really good. Yeah. Mm. And the frosting. The frosting. Where, this is the frosting guy. So what's the frost? No, right. The frosting is very good. Yeah, how the can cinnamon you say? is delicious. Wow. See? Yeah. I love it. I love the peak. And this is gluten free. Too. Gluten uh -huh. free. Wouldn't know. Mm. Yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm so glad you said that. Thank you for saying that because nope. that's what I'm just trying to. It tastes like show. a regular carrot cake. Good. Thank you so much. Yay, I'm so glad. Okay. Let's dig in more. Okay. <laughs> Thanks so much, Cheers, everybody.